I don't want to be the guy who criticizes a movie about the murder of Emmett Till, especially since it stands at a 98% critic score and a 96% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, but that's what this channel is for. Till is a movie about the tragic story of Emmett Till, played by Jalen Hall, a 14-year-old black American from Chicago who was brutally murdered in 1955 after he made a pass at a white woman while visiting his cousins in Mississippi. This movie focuses primarily on the mother Mamie Till Mobley, played by Danielle Deadweiler, and her efforts to publicize the story of and get justice for her son's death. It is directed by Chinonye Chukwu and is written by Michael Riley, Keith Bocamp, and Chinonye Chukwu as well. This is a very depressing movie. Sometimes it can be gut-wrenching, especially when we observe Mamie seeing her dead son on the coroner's table for the first time, and no doubt this is an important story to tell. However, I don't think there is enough material here to justify a 2 hour and 10 minute runtime. Unfortunately, this movie is exactly what I thought it was going to be. I was, I was actually doing a rehearsal of what I would say in my review while I was driving on my way to the movie theater just to see if my predictions would be right. This movie has a lot of crying, a lot of rapid eye blinking to hold back tears, a lot of quiet whispering interrupted by loud screaming outbursts, and a lot of unnecessary drawn out conversations to pad the runtime. Overall, I thought the dialogue was pretty uninspired. The formula for the dialogue in this movie is for someone to suggest doing something crazy, like, I'm going to Mississippi tomorrow to meet with the NAACP. And then someone responds, No, you can't do that. You're putting your life in danger. And then they respond, The world needs to know what happened. And then someone says, We need you to testify against these murders. And the other person says, No, I can't do that. They'll kill me. And then they respond, you need to tell the world what happened here. We get that similar repackaged interaction several times over. Just because a story is important to tell doesn't mean it makes for an entertaining movie. You can obviously be entertained by movies in a variety of ways. They can make you cry, they can make you laugh, they can scare you, they can get your adrenaline pumping, they can be an intellectual exercise, etc. A movie like Schindler's List is about a horrific tragedy, but it is entertaining because we feel the suspense and feel inspiration while watching characters overcome obstacles in spite of the evil surrounding them. Till is like if Schindler's List took place after the events of Schindler's List, and it was just two hours of Liam Neeson and Ben Kingsley mourning and asking, how did this happen? And then going on a press tour to show the world what happened there. That would have been a boring movie. Unfortunately, Till feels like a 2 hour and 10 minute funeral. Danielle Deadweiler does a good job in this and deserves an Oscar nomination, but she isn't enough to carry the movie for me. There was one scene that I really did love, however. I'm going to kind of spoil it here, so go ahead and turn the review off if you're that interested in seeing it live, but there is a scene where Mamie discovers that the preacher who Emmett was staying with had a shotgun in his house, and she says... You had a shotgun. Why didn't you stop those two white men from taking my son? He responds with something like, Because it wasn't just two white men on my door that night. It was the sheriff. It was the judge. It was the clan. It was every hateful white person on my doorstep that night. And we just kind of see how the black American population was just so demoralized that they couldn't even defend their own lives and property because they knew that no one would protect their rights. That was a powerful scene for me. If you want to know about what happened to Emmett Till, I'm sure there are plenty of well-made 30-minute documentaries that would be just as informative and shocking, but no, I don't recommend paying full ticket price to see Till in theaters. 